today we will be learning how to create a time lapse for free. Yes, you heard me right, for free. Although you still need a drone, a computer, and some free time. We are here at this location. We have this insane fog. We shall be doing some time lapse capturing with the Mavic Mini using the time shot functionality in the photo mode. Why in the photo mode, you may ask? Because today we'll be doing long exposure time lapse to make the cars become blurry. Because in the video mode, the lowest possible shutter is 125th and with that you can't really get proper blurry cars and uh, in photo mode you can do that because you can manually change the shutter speed and we shall be using some ND filters so that we can use a slower shutter speed so that the cars blur out so let's do it so the idea here is to capture this bridge and the traffic on the bridge yeah so we will be using these free will ND filters for the Mavic Mini so that we can slow down the shutter. One thing I noticed with these free will filters is that uh, if you use the ND64 with the polarizer that has these red rings around, uh, if you have a longer shutter there will be some red vignetting in the photo mode at longer exposures because the light bounces around those red things and uh, yeah it creates this red vignetting so free will if you're watching i would suggest just to make those rings i don't know black maybe that might help the nd16 um, these uh, regular ones those are fine those don't have any vignetting so uh, yeah but this is only apparent in photo mode so if you want to take photos long exposure photos uh, keep in mind that at daytime they, there might be some red vignetting if you're using like very uh, slow shutter But that's only for the polarized filter There are more filters like those long exposure filters that are meant for that that are way stronger Those don't have that ring around so they should be better than uh, these polarized ones the trick here for a good time-lapse is uh, to have something uh, moving there and also to have a good composition. 125th I think is fine and one is way too overexposed. So alright, 125th time shot every two seconds. This might be what I'm looking for. Okay, let's start. Uh, I would like to know when I start 24 so we changed up the location a bit now we have the bridge but this is such a beautiful day for some cinematics I think I'll be doing some video as well so cinematic video edit of this day right now if it's not made yet then there will be no card here but if it's made then check it out Yeah, DaVinci Resolve. So go to Google, type in DaVinci Resolve and uh, you will find the, the homepage and uh, download the DaVinci Resolve, it's free. Now let's launch DaVinci Resolve and let's get our footage into this. All right, let's create a new project. So let's call this time lapse. Oh, by the way, if you like how this video looks already, like the colors and stuff, you can get my lot pack. By the way, now there's the double lot pack, which is actually cheaper than if you buy both of my lot packs together. So for $10, you'll get 10 lots. That will definitely improve your color grading. Go check that out. So now we should go to this media. Here we have our four folders. So, and DaVinci Resolve is so smart that if you have your photo sequence, it knows that it's a photo sequence. So if we press play right now, it's our time lapse right here. Only thing we have to do is stabilize it. So uh, yeah, but it's pretty cool because uh, in Premiere Pro, there are a few more steps you need to do to achieve this. Let's add this clip here. Let's add this clip here as well. All right, so now in the edit section, now let's move to the edit section and here let's just uh, add all of our clips right next to each other. So now I can see that this footage is a bit shaky because we had some wind there and uh, but all in all I can see that 
the photos are sharp it does move around quite a bit but the photos are sharp ah oh, this is so cool all right so we have all our clips here now select one and uh, go down here to the stabilization and here we just click stabilize okay the bridge is dancing a bit okay now let's stabilize all of these clips all right this looks a bit better but still the bridge is dancing <laughs> if i would add some trippy music and trippy lots we could say that this bridge is tripping <laughs> but uh, yeah you could stabilize this much better in after effects but uh, because today we are doing this in davinci resolve we shall be doing it here fly pretty far away from the subjects you're capturing because the closer the subjects are the more they will move around so just like here this bridge is quite close if it would be if i would be further away and if i would be seeing the whole bridge it wouldn't be dancing like this because the bridge is so close and because the drone was moving around in the wind the bridge after the stabilization is kind of like dancing but we can hide that with some uh, zooms some motions and all that so let's just do it let's stabilize all of these clips now let's just use some zooming transform things so let's let's zoom in a bit so this is the, going to be the final look of the shot so we have the end point let's add the beginning point so and position position will be here let's see maybe some funky rotation All right, uh, I wouldn't say it's the best time lapse, but it does give you this feeling. Uh, those blurred out cars look really cool. Uh, we have this slight zooming out motion, but I think I could make it a bit better. The beginning of this shot was a bit wonky, but there are like two, three seconds that I enjoyed. All right. Wow, that bridge is tripping around like crazy. Yeah, so the further away from the object that you're capturing you will be, the smoother the time lapse will turn out. So, yeah. <gasps> so wonky! <laughs> Moving around like crazy. Yeah. Live and learn. Live and learn. No, it's still pretty cool. Like, there are a few, few moments that are quite usable all right very good so that is how you create time lapses in davinci resolve next what you want to do would be color correct them what i am going to do is i will export them and then i will bring them to premiere and like use these clips in uh, in my video i will be color correcting them there so but if you want to do it here it's uh, you just do it like this you add a Correct corrector node. You link it here, I guess. Like this. yes, good, 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 good. So we added some contrast. It's pretty good, pretty good. And let's do something with these colors. Mess around with these wheels, and you will color color correct your images. So that is how you do that. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Stay tuned for more videos. If you enjoyed this video, then please sacrifice that like button because then the YouTube gods will give me some views. And if you want to see more from me, then please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribing, then click that bell thingy because then you will be notified whenever I upload. And if you want to get your own Mavic Mini, then affiliate link is in the description. Check it out. If you want to get your lot packs the links are in the description so yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next video